Hi everyone, this is Cherise. It's time to set up our March monthly spread, so grab your bullet journals and plan with me. One of the most requested themes is a desk slash office slash workspace theme. So that is what I'll be doing today for my March bullet journal. I've been enjoying using watercolor on my bullet journal spreads over the past months. So I'll be using it again for my illustrations. All the supplies are listed on the video description. This medium or setup might not be for everyone. Remember that coloring tools are just extra for bullet journaling but can be a nice way to add fun to your spreads. You can be as creative as you want. I'm also gonna be doing a minimalist plan with me video for my sister's March bullet journal setup. So if you opt for a simple and easy to follow spreads, that will be uploaded next on my channel so consider subscribing. If you haven't seen the February calligraphy theme I did for her, I'll provide the link on the card for you to watch later. Okay, so for my cover page, using my number 4 paint brush, I am painting an illustration of a home office. It's more like what I want my workspace to look like. I'm also in the process of planning the studio in one of the vacant rooms in our house. Since I've been working from home and to make my stuff more organized and nicely stored because honestly, they are all over the place and to help me get more focused on my art projects. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested to see a video of my small home office in the making very soon. I wanted my workspace to be relaxing and that fits my style which is a mix of Scandinavian and Bohemian. The Scandinavian pieces I'll include here are the shell chair with four wooden legs, natural wooden desk, minimalist black table lamp, and floating shelves. For the boho pieces are a tan plant stand, hand braided jute rug, and indoor plants and succulents. These spaces are meant to be warm, comforting, and inviting, and these are what I need to get more productive. I remember the first videos I uploaded when I just started YouTube. They were interior designing contents using an app that I really enjoyed back in the day. Speaking of style, I just love the earthy vibe or feel of a room. So I'll definitely choose wood for my desk and shelves. Also, it's great to complement other furnitures at home. I'm not an expert or anything when it comes to interior designing, but these are just how I see it. If you just started watercolor painting on your bullet journals, it's totally fine to use pencil first to sketch out your illustrations. Even if I kind of gotten used to it already and somewhat know the technique, I still prefer to outline them first with pencil, especially the detailed ones. For the entire painting I did on my bullet journal, I haven't really done the traditional wet-on-wet -wet painting because the notebook I'm using is not meant for that kind of heavy painting, but it can be done too, however, it will be a very slow process because you are going to wait for it to dry before layering it again or proceeding to the next page. So for now, I'll just stick with being concerned with it. Watercolor just really gives me the freedom when it comes to the color I want because I get to mix them until I'm satisfied and also when I have mistakes, just like the drawer painting, I filled in the boxes with the same shade of brown but I can always come back and layer it again. Maybe for the next monthly setups, I'll try another art medium like gouache or acrylic on my bullet journal. We are close to completing the overall look of this home office cover page. Now I am painting the floating shelves, 
one on the left and one on the right to kind of align or frame the desk and then add in some decorations with some more plants, storages and ceramics. To finish off the cover page painting is a light yellow background. I am aiming for that streaky look using very less water. And then I'm writing March on top left in a hollowed font and lower case. On the left side is my quote page. I am painting stuff that can be found on top of my desk like my bullet journal, a clipboard, computer, clips, pen, my phone, and some plants. You will see a monstera leaf here but I actually don't have one yet. My mom loves gardening and our house and yard is filled with plants. It's almost turning into a jungle. <laughs> Kidding aside, I actually asked her this small snake plant that you see on my table. Using my Sakura white jelly roll, I am drawing the veins of the monstera leaf. My quote for this month is, The fruit of your own hard work is the sweetest. It's truly rewarding seeing your work finally paying off if you've been working on something and it seems like you'll never see the results you wanted. Stay dedicated and patient and know that success doesn't come overnight. My next spread are my calendar, goals, and events in a large wire grid board. The layout is as if each one are pinned or clipped onto the grid. On the left, using my Sakura Bigma Micron 0.03, I drew my March calendar with some inspirational message written on a sheet of paper on top and a color palette on the bottom. To the right is the goals and events. I initially thought of using a ruler for this but I decided to go for a not so straight curvy lines for the paper drawings. I also painted a monstera plant on the side and then added gray drop shadows on the drawings. Completing this spread is the grid with a 3x3 three three spacing at the back.
Moving on to the next spread is my habit tracker. For the title, I used a floating shelf for the illustration. There is a monstera plant and file storages next to it. On the middle is a cork board, then a basket and another plant at the right end. I'm writing the title the same way I've written the other titles, but the way I wrote the T, I know it's kind of funny, so please bear with that. Below the shelf are six clipboards. One habit to track for each clipboard, I'm tracking my water intake, vitamins, healthy eating, stretching, creative and social habits. Like in my previous habit trackers, I'll be using circles again for each day, we're in L shade 1 for every habit done. This month, I decided not to track my moods for the meantime because Things are getting busy for me so I won't have the time to remember what was I actually feeling on a certain day and to try other trackers as well to see if it works for me. Finally, I painted the sides of the clipboards with brown and filled in the clips with my Simi Art Gold Gel Pen. The following spread is my content planner using the same title design from my habit tracker but with different stuff painted on it. Below is a huge cork board with a paper pinned on it. Then I wrote the days and dates per week so it's easy to see all the contents weekly and for consistency. Let's move on to the next spreads. For the illustration, I am doing a closer look of the desk on an angled view. I've taken a lot of inspirations from Pinterest and combined them all together. If you also are planning to organize your workspaces, Pinterest is definitely one of the best places to look for inspirations and motives.
Beside the desk is a wooden drawer. I have so much stationery and art stuff hanging around and I would choose a drawer that would fit them all. You can also check out my personal home office decor pics linked on the video description. The left page will be my waiting on spread. If you are tracking packages from your online purchases and something being sent to you, this is definitely a must have. There are three columns where I'll write the description from where a package is coming from and the date sent. On the right side is a new spread I'm going to try. My family started a small business this early February to add something financially for the growing needs of our little one. So I wanted to track our income, expenses, and overall savings using this business spread. I'll be tracking them weekly without the need of a detailed breakdown. The final spread I'll be doing on this video is my weekly spread. Last month, I did a vertical Dutch door weekly spreads with pattern tabs. This month, I'll be doing it again but this time, it's horizontal. I started cutting the next three pages, three dots before the center line of each page. Then I glued the first bottom cut onto the page to the left and the rest to the right. So it all should look like this. I'll be painting an illustration of a shared office space at the bottom. And this is the same illustration I'll be seeing whenever I flip into the next weekly. The shared desk is more like a floating shelf. It is fixed on the wall but using a long, thicker piece of wood. I started painting the shell chairs first, then the stationary items computers and house plants before painting the desk. I tried making the whole spread three-dimensional with more room for writing tasks for each day. I drew floating shelves as a divider. On the top left corner is the number of the week and I'm labeling each day with rectangles as if they are file storages. If you'd like to see how the rest of my weeklies would look like, I'll be posting them on my bullet journal Instagram. And feel free to recreate my spreads and don't forget to tag me because I'd love to see them. And that is all for this March bullet journal setup and plan with me video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more bullet journaling videos and I'll see you next time.